Hi guys and welcome to another video from JC Ingenium. Uh, thank you very much guys for following us and putting all your likes and comments on the different videos we've been making so far with the magnetic tiles. Really hope you're enjoying them. Today we're bringing you a new experiment in which we're going to explore two different principles. One of them being the types of matters and we're talking about solids, we're talking about gas and liquid. And of course, the second one is the principle of Archimedes, which is all about buoyancy force. So we're gonna be showing you about that today. And um, what are you gonna need? Some magnetic tiles. And of course, you're going to need a container. Please ensure that your container is just a bit bigger than the magnetic tiles, so you can actually place a few of them inside. Let's get started. Buoyancy in a way too that we can explain to children is the ability for something to be able to float. The word buoyancy comes from the Spanish word Boyar, which means floating. We're gonna use our magnetic towel and we're gonna to try to sink it in on the bottom of the tray. What you will see is that eventually that tile will start floating. Why does this happen? This is the next principle that we're going to explain to children. There are three types of matters, solid, liquid, and gas. What you have right now inside the tile it's gas, which is particles that are all spread around. This is actually what creates the force on the water to allow for the tile to float. It's not the actual weight itself. And also, you know, just to prove it, we also have the magnets, but because they're all in a solid state, which means all the particles are all close together, it will make the magnets heavier. So let's give this a test just to see how it goes. So we're gonna try both the tile and the magnets at the same time to see which one floats. As you can see immediately, the particles uh, which are solid on the magnets makes it heavier, therefore it will actually sink all the way through. The towel on the other hand, it's lighter because it has pockets of air. Now a great experiment that you can do with the children will be to actually see how many tiles can you put on top of it so it will make it heavier. Will that make a difference to the buoyancy on the water? If one tile can float because it has air on it, then how many tiles can you put on top of it before it starts sinking? So give that a try and see what happens. Remember that our container has a small amount of water. What will happen if you have a bigger container? How many tiles do you think you can probably sink inside of it? This brings us to the uh, other principle of Archimedes, which is how much weight uh, can actually be supported by the force of buoyancy. Finally, we try to make a little boat with our magnetic tiles. In principle, because it has air on it, all the tiles should be able to float, but that didn't happen. Can you tell us why you think that didn't happen? Okay guys, so thank you for watching. We really hope you enjoyed this experiment. We look forward to see you on the next video. Have fun.